There's a universal dread across Michigan. We're talking about pothole season. We, of course, all want to see our roads improve, and we've shown you how the University of Michigan is working with the Michigan Department of Transportation on the long-term problem. Well, tonight, Local 4 Business Editor Rod Maloney is here with an update. We received an email from a Local 4 viewer who remembered a story we did out here about five years ago in Ypsilanti. This is Grove Road. And we talked about the University of Michigan helping MDOT try and develop better concrete for our roads. He wanted the update, so here it is. It's called ultra high performance concrete, and who could be against that considering our frustrating and destructive pothole season? Potholes stem from water leaking into cement, freezing and expanding, and then contracting in warmer weather year after year. U of M professor Sharif El Tawil says his new concrete mix solves that problem. The way it's made is it's packed very tightly with all its components. It does not allow this void system to occur. So it just kills the freestyle cycle. Back in 2015, they put ultra high performance concrete, which is reinforced with the same steel as radial tires in the bridge connectors on Kilgore Road over the Pine River. Our prediction is that decks made of this would last anywhere from 100 to 150 years. And it appears to be working. But there's a big problem. It's six times more expensive. Because you're using less, it's lighter, so your foundation system is smaller. Your, the cranes you bring in for construction are smaller, so the costs are smaller there as well. But the biggest advantage is that you don't have to replace the concrete every few decades. So in the end, the professor is happy to report that MDOT is happy with his results, and they're expanding its usage. Of course, yes. <laughs> for academics, that's what we uh, we live for, is we would like our research to go out in the real world. Now, this is one of a couple of differing experiments with other kinds of concrete, and MDOT appears to be happy with it, at least that's what the doctor says. Now, we've reached out to MDOT. They didn't have any uh, specific information for us today on it. We'll update that when it comes in. But in the meantime, the doctor says, look, for all of us who are hoping that our roads are going to be made out of this stuff in the years to come, he said these kinds of decisions happen at glacial speed. So in as much as they're making progress and they're using more of this stuff, it's going to be a long time before we see lots of it in use. Reporting live in Dearborn, Rod Maloney, Local 4. Okay, Rod, thanks.